Hey you guys! I love it. I love when people say that. I love it. Even better when you say it. Yeah. Hey you guys! <laughs> Congratulations on the film. You, thank you. Lots thank of fun you. in a time yeah. when it's quite bleak in many places. Well, that it's is, a perfect that, antidote, right? That is it, really, isn't it? it we we live in tumultuous times and there's a lot of horrible, hor I'm gonna not swear but there's some terrible, terrible things going on right now and so it is, it's a nice gentle, you, you can sit in a cinema for two hours take your foot off the gas and at the end of it go, well that was pleasant wasn't it yeah. no one died, there was no swearing there were lots of dogs everyone likes dogs and I was in it, which for me is great Selling now. <laughs> and my wife and my children, they really like it when I'm earning money and in films. Yeah, always good, yeah. always good. Uh, let me just ask you, aside from Patrick, obviously you work with BT, who's fantastic in the movie. Yeah, I yeah. like working with her because she seems like a real, a real talent. She's great, she's really good. And uh, if you've seen the film or you haven't seen the film, it hangs on BT. Yeah. Like, there's not a scene that she's not in. And 90% and of the scenes she's in, she's working with a dog. And Harley's great, but he's a dog. You know, so she she does the light, she does the heavy lifting, and she she was a machine. She was brilliant. Absolutely. And uh, obviously, you've been in lots of different stuff. Loved you in Love and Friendship. Which oh, was thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. What's thank next you. for you? Have you got anything I've on got, the horizon? I've got bits and bobs coming. I'm going going out to LA again to do a second season of a sitcom I did over there. Um, and then there's a few very interesting auditions coming up Fantastic. that I can't tell you about. Ah, they're so good, good. They're so good. I can't tell you. I'm not good. allowed to. You better be lying to me. I look no, look no. For honestly, well, no. <laughs> it's only really good if I <laughs> get, get them. If you get it. If I don't I'm get it, you good vibes. I will never hear about time. it ever again, and neither will you. <laughs> but if I get it, I it's I very do. exciting. Everyone I've spoke to has said how fantastic the movie is, and how light-hearted, and how it's a great film to watch in current climates. <laughs> I presume you would echo those sentiments. It's what I wanted to do, is I really felt, I can't do very serious movies. I spend my life looking around the corner for the next laugh. And I just wanted to do something light-hearted, family, British. It's a great tradition we have, and we don't do enough films like this. Absolutely. Uh, tell me about the amazing cast you assembled, because it's not just BT at the top. You've got Ed Screen, you've got Tom Bennett, who we just spoke to. An amazing cast. Yes. Well, I mean, we just ask, once you start, once you know, because once we got BT, once we got BT's mother, you just keep asking, and in the end, they all say yes. And as I said to Bernard Cribbins, you know, you cannot do a British family film and not have you in it. So don't say no. <laughs> and he didn't. Everyone's saying how amazing this movie is and how light-hearted it is. Are you, uh, was that something when you read the script for the first time? It was just that that yeah. struck you? Yeah, it really felt like, I guess with the world the way it is right now, it felt like a kind of film that was just joyful and I feel like that's something we need right now. <laughs> uh, what was it about the character of Sarah that, that drew you to her when you read the script for the first time? Well, you know what, she's very similar to me in that she's all over the place and I was like, oh, I can do this. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I've had experience of this. <laughs> yes, yes. And then there's this, then there's this little um, hug that nightmare dog. upsets. I mean, she's in a bad place at the beginning of the movie because she's dumped and everything else and then she gets this dog. Yeah, who was a nightmare and <laughs> spoilt and badly behaved and uh, yeah and she says in the film I'm not a dog person which I am I very much am so that's one thing we're not don't have in common but by the end of the film she definitely is a dog person yeah there's some great moments in this where as a dog person myself and having had a dog before that you can feel that that's exactly what you go through especially the bit at the gate where you're struggling and he's just standing there sort of berating you as if to say you can't get me from where I am I mean was it that's, that must have been a really cool fun aspect of the whole experience oh, yeah 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 I mean I sort of lived my fantasy of owning a dog <laughs> um, but like all the bad bits and all the good bits um, but yeah really fun to film I think that bit is a true story that the writer that happened to the writer oh, really? the dog got stuck on the other side of the gate and she couldn't reach it incredible <laughs> I like paints. there's an amazing amazing cast to this obviously Emily next to us and yes. we spoke to Tom Bennett who's fantastic oh, and screen as well who seems to be yeah. everywhere it must have been great to be yeah, oh yeah I mean it's slightly intimidating <laughs> but they were all so lovely and it's just such a lovely job to work like it's not all the time you just get to work with lovely people. Absolutely. And just finally, I mean, you've been in lots of television and movies and everything else. Are so you looking to do more movies? Have you got some, anything I in the pipeline? I hope so. Uh, I can't say anything right now. Everyone always says that. Make <laughs> I our <know>. jobs impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, I, hope, I wish you success. And I wish you Thank success. You very Thank you so much for your time. Pug, Pug oh. Central here today, I isn't know. it? I know. I didn't realise. He's waiting for you. I honestly didn't realise how much I loved Pugs themselves until I worked on this film. Have you bought one yet? I've spent a lot of, a lot of time with them. They're good guys.
they're really good guys. Good guys. Yeah. Um, listen, we've talked to the cast. They've said how fantastic the movie is and how mm. sweet natured it was. When you read the script for the first time, was that what you felt coming off the page? Definitely. It's kind of like a, it's got a, a Bridget Jones humour vibe to it, but for children. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's real British humour, which I love. Um, f- full of funny women, lovely funny women. Um, and yeah, and I love the fact that it was directed by a woman, Mandy Fletcher, female dominated kind of zone um so yeah it was lovely that's that's kind of what jumped out at me i was like yeah. this is really nice really nice yeah it is. Uh, let me ask you about working with bt because she, she's oh she's, she's the best she's in the movie she's absolutely fantastic in it what was it like working with her she's the best and she she obviously her job was the most demanding she's in every single scene and you know i got the easy bit i got to sort of just drift in and out for two weeks and just have a laugh um but she's she's lovely she's the best she's great fun she's so chilled She's great. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your character because she's a bit of a fitness, a fitness yeah. teacher and everything else. It's so hilarious. It's so funny. So I am the most unsportiest person you could ever think of in your entire life. I play a PE teacher called Becky. She befriends Sarah, played by BT, and they, they sort of develop this really lovely um, friendship. And you wonder throughout the film how Becky got this gig as a PE teacher because she's eating a cake in every scene, first of all. I think that accidentally happened. I don't think that was even meant to really be in it. But but that wasn't even written in it. I think just every scene I just ended up doing that. Um, And also she can't run to save her life. So there are some really dodgy dodgy running from both of us, I think, from both BT and I, which we howled laughing at when we first watched it. We were like, oh my God, I didn't know I ran like that. Um, but yeah, it's lighthearted, all good fun. Exactly. Good. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you know, success with In Between Us, lots of other stuff. What's in the pipeline next for you? Have you got some stuff So, yeah, I've got another film coming out soon called Songbird, which is um, it's produced by Noel Clark. Noel Clark's also starring in it too. Uh, Kobe Smulders, Jessica Hines. Um, yeah, some really cool people in that. So, filmed that nearly a couple of years ago now, and it's coming out pretty soon. Did Kobe give you any uh, Marvel spoilers? Are you a Marvel, a Marvel geek? Or? I'm not a Marvel geek. Uh, I, sh- I should be, shouldn't I? You should be. Yeah. It's everywhere. Okay, I'll get into it. If you ever see her again, you should ask her because she yeah. would have spoiled everything for you. I'm I will. Sure. She was cool, Co- Kobe. She's Smulders. great. How many mother? So cool. Hey, I love that show. She, I've got like a full woman crush on her. Like, oh my god, she's amazing. amazing. Uh, so this is your baby, and this the film is your baby. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wrote the original screen story. So when did the idea come about of you writing a film about young Patrick? It was about three years ago. I was walking my um, dogs in Marble Hill Park, which is part of Richmond, which is where the film's set, and I just realised how many people I was talking talking to just in the park with dogs and I suddenly thought gosh you really are never alone if you've got a dog you never are because not only do they give you great companionship but they're they're a sort of passport for meeting other people it's you know all the sort of the um, barriers come down you'll happily chat to somebody if you both have dogs so I suddenly started thinking well you know how much they affect you and um, you know how much they could change someone's life so that was where the idea was born really. Absolutely. I was speaking to BT earlier at the, at the junket with yeah. the actor Patrick um, about how, how lovely the movie is and in a time where there's so much craziness going on in the world mm. it's nice to have you know 90 minutes of, of just sheer fun and bliss. That was the whole point is to give people a bit of escape, um, a laugh, it's a warm family film um, and it's a love letter to Richmond, a love letter to our pets whether they be cats or dogs and it's just meant as a, you know, a, an hour and a half of fun to lighten your, your, lighten your day. Did you meet the, the real Patrick? Was he oh, was yes. he a good stand-in? Oh, he was amazing, actually. And Julie and the team who trained the main dog, Harley, have done a phenomenal job. You know, And he, he came out of his shell tremendously on the film from where he started. Um, and, yeah, he's a phenomenal dog. They did a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!